Dreams of hope, you're not alone, cause I'm here for you. I hope your morning is good, just like the way you should. Dun, 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 dun. I'm the host, yeah, and the singer too. Okay, guys, welcome back to the Dangerous and Podcast. It's been a very, very, very long time, but I thought today I would be talking about some things I like, and so we're going to get into Sabrina Carpenter's new album, Short and Sweet, Trackless, that got announced today. And so we're going to talk about that, some predictions for the songs, like what I think about the, you know, the song titles, and yeah, and the signed CDs that we're going to get into, <clears throat> like the email she sent out, Twitter, aka X, and then a little comparison I, I really much noticed between her and Olivia Rodrigo. I love them both. I know they always get compared and stuff, same with them and Taylor Swift. I'm not, I, it's not a bad thing, like I'm not like, calling Sabrina out or anything. I love them both, but it is very similar, like the vintage, vintage style she chose for the video for the track list released, it's like the same thing Olivia did basically. So we're getting into that. Okay, first, this is the email I got from Sabrina Carpenter at 12.03 p.m., which the signed CD dropped at 12, and I think they sold out at 12.06 or 12.05, which that's really quick. Like, I don't know how many she signed. Someone said like 4,000, 5,000, something like that. Which they saw it really fast. Like I, I didn't go on my phone until like twelve oh six, and I saw it was sold out, and I was disappointed. But then it's not as bad knowing it sold out in that many minutes because like I don't know if I would have been able to get one anyway, knowing like what time I was on my phone. But I do have like those one bots on Twitter where like they post like when things get restocked. I have that for Taylor Swift too, because like how am I supposed to like get the the drops because the actual bots and the resellers get them so quickly but this is the email I got like uh like I'm glad she like finally did the sign CDs but come on the you know sold out so quick I wonder if she'll drop another I think she probably will drop more that's my my estimate <laughs> my guesstimate I don't know and I noticed something she has temporary tattoos I didn't know that was there before so maybe in like a music video, she's gonna be wearing tattoos. Maybe she'll be all tatted up like Taylor Swift in the Fortnite music video. See all her tattoos and stuff. Maybe she's gonna be like Taylor. <laughs> but anyways, back to the shop. So here's what the temporary tattoos look like. Fifteen dollars. That's not crazy, but it's still like you know overpriced for temporary tattoos. I wonder if she like has anything else new on her site. But yeah, I, I believe the CDs were like regular priced. I saw a screenshot there, like $13 the price of the CD, which is awesome because Taylor's, she did uh, another drop on Sunday. And I think her signed CDs are like 22, 25 bucks. I think it's $25. And then with shipping, it comes out to be like 33. So that's the only thing added to the shop. Um, yeah, so the picture disc, I really wanted to get the black and white Spotify exclusive one, and I just wasted my time, and I didn't get it because it sold out, so maybe it'll come back in stock, I don't know, it's literally pre-order exclusive, direct to consumers, so like, I doubt it will be, but I saved money, so that's good, but it would have been nice to have in my record collection, and you guys, that would have been another video for you guys to watch. Anyways, back to the email. So she's just like, I signed some CDs for you as well. And there's a cute little tattoo pack. I hope you love it. And then here is the track list. Um, so we have the video. We are going to watch the video if I can find it. <laughs> but I go over to X, aka okay, Twitter, and yeah, there's my feed. It's Team Sabrina saying, she told us not to smile, but how can we not right now, which is the last track. It's don't smile. So anyway, here is. Sabrina Daily Updates posting about the track list. So we're gonna watch the video clip, which I don't I don't know if it's on our YouTube. No, it's not. Okay, we're gonna have to go to her Twitter page, X page. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys the video. Okay. And then we're gonna dub into the track list and I'll just be saying, you know my thoughts on it okay i love espresso i love just like i love it in the song and for some reason i thought there was gonna be like another food themed track like i feel like it would have been fun so okay let's go through the track list now here is the video
So yeah, please, 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 go to Sharpie's school, coincidence, that we could have everything on. Okay, it goes too fast. <laughs> I want to talk with him some of it. <laughs> it was vibe. It was attractive. Okay. okay, back to one of the Sabrina Carpenter news things on X. We are going to go over the track list. So we have taste, please, please, please. Good graces, sharpest tool, coincidence. Ben Chem, Espresso, Dumb and Poetic, Slim Pickens, Juno, Lie to Girls, Don't Smile. Okay, so I, I'm not going to delve that deep into this. I'm not going to like analyze every title and like be like, oh, I think it's going to sound like this. I think it's going to mean this. But I'm going to give some thoughts on it, um, but not go crazy. Okay, taste. Um, okay, I don't know what that's going to be about. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think it's going to be something about like, I don't know, like a lover or something. Please, please, please. We already have that one. Good graces. I think it's going to be about good graces, you know? <laughs> oh, I've never really went through a track list before and, like, guessed what it's going to be like. I think maybe it's going to be, like, someone's in her good graces. Or she's going to be talking about, like, someone not being in her good graces. <laughs> okay, sharpest tool. You know, sharpest tool in the shed. So it's either going to be about someone being the sharpest tool in the shed or not being the sharpest tool. Or you could say, like, you know how people could be like, you're a tool, like you're dumb, something like that. Like you're manipulated and not smart. And she could be like, well, you're the sharpest, the smartest one of those people. Probably gonna be about a guy, I don't know. Coincidence? I don't know. <laughs> the only thing I can relate to that is being, is I, in the skin. She's like, the skin, <laughs> the skin song. She's like, Maybe blonde was the only rhyme or something. Maybe it's like a, it's a coincidence, you know. Blonde was the only rhyme. That's it's not gonna be about that. I'm just saying. <laughs> bed chem. I'm pretty sure this is just gonna be bed chemistry about, you know, her and her lover and stuff. Bed chemistry. Espresso. That song's amazing. We already know what that's about. <laughs> You've already heard that song. Dumb and poetic. Okay, I think this is one of my favorite titles. I think it's pretty good. Dumb and poetic. I think that's going to be a really fun song. And then Slim Pickens, I think it's a funny name, but I think it's just going to be about, like, how there's not many guys out there who are that great. She has very slim Pickens, you know? Not many guys to choose from who are that great. She, not many guys to choose from. Um, Juno, I think that's a name. The only thing it would, it, like, the only thing I can relate it to is just, like, June Bloom by Camila Cabello. Oh, I, I should be talking about that song in this podcast. Not, not that song, the album. C-X-O-X-O. I think the album was pretty good. My favorite song is Chanel Number no. 5. But I haven't listened to all the songs yet. Okay, hold up. I'm going to look something up real quick. Okay, so I looked up Juno. And the first thing that pops up is a movie called Juno. When a pre and a pre precocious teen, Juno Mecca's become pregnant. She chooses a failed rock star and his wife to adopt her unborn child. Complications occur in order to possibly probably begin doing Juno as more than just the mother of his future child. I think both his marriage and adoption would be. Okay, I don't think this is related to the song at all. I mean, it could be, but like, I don't think it is. That would be kind of weird. But, <laughs> okay, besides that, um, Juno stands for, in Roman mythology, Juno is the name of a goddess who is considered the queen of heaven. The goddess is the daughter of Saturn, Saturn, the daughter of Saturn and the wife of Jupiter, Juno. It's the equivalent of the Greek goddess Hera. Name is sometimes used in a general way to refer to any woman considered regal. Now that, I think that could be something to do with the song. It could be about that. Like how great like Sabrina is, like goddess of the queen of heaven, goddess considered the queen of heaven. Refer to any woman considered regal. I think it could be like that. I think that's my guess for what the song is about. And I also looked up over here. Juno name meaning, meaning, you know, young. Juno as a girl's name is of Latin origin, meaning youth, youthful and queen of the gods. Now that sounds Sabrina, like, that sounds like 
that could be like the topic of the song. Inspiration for the name is the month of June. Can be a great choice if your little ones join your family in the summer. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's what I think that song would be about. Lie to your girls. Like, you know, it's gonna be about lying to girls, obviously. <laughs> and then don't smile. Um, I don't know what it's gonna be about. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be like a sad or upbeat song. I really felt like decode for emails I can't send. I think that was a great song to end the album off on. I'm just wondering how Don't Smile is going to end this, how it's going to end the album. I don't know, it could be like Don't Smile, you know, it's so sad, the album's over. <laughs> no. Um, overall, I like the track list. I think it's I think it's good. I think the titles could be more fun, but just because they're titles, it doesn't mean, they're not even boring titles, they're fun titles. I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting something else, I like guess, for us, like ice cream. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but I, I do like the titles. I'm excited to listen to the songs. Um, I'm surprised there's no features unless like she surprises us and there's a feature. I didn't notice something about her, the vinyls and CD. She doesn't have the track list on the back. Same for emails I can't send, which is interesting. Maybe that, that could be a way to help like not get the track list leaked. Although she is like announcing it now. Maybe, she, maybe Taylor should do that. I don't know if she would want to do that, but maybe it would help from the track list getting leaked. I'm not sure. It probably would. But yeah, um, I think they're good titles. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, one more comment. Which one I think are going to be bops, like upbeat, great songs, and fun songs, like espresso? I think Lie to Girls is going to be a fun one. Don't Smile, maybe. I think Dumb and Poet are going to be a fun one. Um, maybe taste. Which one do I think would be the third single? Ah, uh, I'm not sure. I think I don't know. Maybe just taste because it's the first one, or I think Lie to Girls. I think that has a chance to be the single. I actually guessed the Torture Post Department single. Like uh, Fortnite and the Torture Post Department. Those were two of the songs I was most excited to hear. And I kind of guess I was like, I think Fortnite might be like the lead single, and I was right. Yay. Yay for me. Okay, time to get into the comparisons with the video. Once again, I love both the Brady Carpenter and the Mural video. I think they're great artists. I love both of their musics. <laughs> both their music. Um, and I know people, you know, the whole drama 2021 between them, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> And then people always comparing people in the music industry, but I'm gonna make this comparison because I think it's a very clear comparison. The video style is the same. You even have like a similar voice to the guy talking. It's like kind of like an advertisement in a way. And literally it's just like the track was going down. Um, I, I'm sure it's, it's a great idea. I like the idea. I'm glad they posted it because it's good. It's just the comparison I thought of, so let's watch it. I mean, it's not the same thing, like exactly, but it's very similar. I don't know, that's just the comparison I want to make. Hmm. <laughs> well, I don't know, that's kind of all I really wanted to talk about in today's video was Sabrina Carpenter's track list announcement. And then, you know, just like the comparison and the sign CDs. Um, I will add on, you know, other things around here, like, the album, I'm very excited for her short and sweet. I think the cover is good. I thought at first it was boring and basic, but it's good. It's a different color than I thought it'd be. Like for the vinyl, I thought it's like a different shade of blue. I thought it'd be more like baby blue if she's going for a blue color, but I still love it. I'm excited. It just sucks the tour tickets sold out so quick. Like the scalper definitely got to her too, just like they did for your Taylor Swift and Olivia Rodrigo. Which really sucks because I was hoping to get tickets to Columbus the opening night and now I can't. Like, I don't know, like you can go to Ticketmaster.
faster and get resale tickets, but it's like 250 bucks a ticket. That would be like 500 for two tickets, which is a lot. I mean, if I did have money saved up, I would do it, but you know, that's expensive. <sighs> I didn't get tickets to Olivia either. Like, oh, it's so hard to get tickets these days to the popular people. Oh yeah, the guts to look far. I remember that. We're like really flashed on the screen. <laughs> Okay, dokie. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and liked and listening to me chat about Sabrina's track list and predictions, no matter how bad they may be. <laughs> I don't know. My predictions are very bad. <laughs> I just have some general ideas of what, you know, are probably going to be about. But this was just meant to be fun and then talk about, like, a few opinions and comparisons. And yeah, I'm sure the style of videos have been around for a while. And it's like a throwback video type thing. It's fine. They're similar though. I know people called her out when she did the short and sweet. It was for the tour video. It was also very similar too as well. It was like in the same style, same vibe. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and the revival of my channel. Um, comment down below what you guys want me to talk about next. Like... The things I like, I love, you know, music a lot. Sabrina Carpenter, Olivia Rodrigo, Taylor Swift. You know, those are the main artists I listen to. I listen to the Arctic Monkeys as well. And I wouldn't mind talking about Camila Cabela's new album, I guess. I don't know. The lyrics are kind of crazy, but they're fun. I think the songs I've heard, they're kind of fun lyrics. And it's just a fun vibe. And then, you know, I love books as well. Inheritance Games, best book series, I'd say. <laughs> Out of the ones I've read, I'm sure there's better, but those are the ones I've read. And she has new books coming out too, Grandest Game in July, Untold something, something like that, Secrets Untold. That comes out in November. And if you're just like a new subscriber, please subscribe and check out my other channels, Dakota Danger 7 and Public Legendary if you want to see my pug Lexi, because she is adorable. She's laying next to me right now. It has been for this whole entire video. She's been really good. She's just sleeping while it rains outside because it's, you know, it's a lovely rainy, day, ra lovely rainy day, rainy day parade. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Comment what videos you want next. And peace out, my dudes. I love ya.